Have you ever started a city and not been able to keep it running? I know I have. A lot of the times it comes down to your highway and how you connect up your on and off ramps initially. Today we'll be going over the best layout for starting your city, how to optimize your zoning in the beginning, and what services to use in the early game, including how to connect your power and water. Join with me as we play City Skylines and take a deeper look into how to start a city. How's it going everyone? Shodan here with a quick tutorial on starting your city. Now I've seen a few YouTubers and streamers that have got some interesting ways of starting their city and I just wanted to uh, put this out there to share my knowledge. Alright, first off we're going to unlock our other roads. As you can see we don't have a lot of other roads unlocked yet and the vital one is actually the one way road for two lanes. So what we're going to do is grab our one way road, our two lane road, sorry, connect that up and then delete it straight away. What this does is it unlocks our two lane one way road and our four lane road with median. So what we're going to do is grab our two lane one way and take it out 10 go up by 12 because what I want to do is create an elevated highway. Now we're going to go out by uh, about 40 so about that length going to go back to here do the same on this side 1, 2, 3, 4, 12 up in line with the end bit and then we're going to connect them. So this allows the traffic coming into the city to be able to turn around. Now what I'm doing here is I've got the upgrade tool and all I'm doing is to flip the road around is right clicking on the road. So as you can see the arrow turns around. So that allows traffic to go in and then come back out. Now the next bit is creating our main road for the actual city. So what I want to do is get this four lane road with median and put it down. So you need to pick somewhere where there isn't pillars and then with your mouse hovered over where you want it, go down by pressing page down to the ground level. Now from there you want to go straight out to the side 10 and that gives us, gives us our first bit. Now the next bit is making sure that you grab the node for the road that we just placed not the node for the highway or pseudo highway at the moment so you can tell the difference by the highway's got barrier the road that we just placed doesn't. So what we're going to do is just bring this over so that it's connected just underneath the uh, other highway lane. So we go there and then we go out by 10 again. So this gives us 10 on one side and 10 on the other. Now the road that's actually came in here isn't parallel with everything else so it, it looks a bit wonky but it's, it's right. Um, what we need to do now is connect up our on-ramp and off-ramp so we want to use a curve road for that come back about about 10 from where it is um, and what you want to do is at about 35 degrees if I can get it now it's gonna to have to be 40 degrees just create your your off-ramp so this is going to be your main entry into the city so just like that and then what you want to do on the other side come out by five and then just connect it up try and get the same sort of look as the off ramp so that's your on ramp for your city your traffic leaving the city from this side of the city and then doing the same normally I turn the camera to face the way that the roads going in line with where it is so there come out by 40 
at an angle of 40 sorry and then all you want to do is just create the same sort of angle again 5 and in line with where that other one is uh, if it'll let me do it this time you may have to actually use the freeform tool to get the angle that you want and there we go so there is our on and off ramp you can use the move it tool to uh, play around with it if you wish to make the curves a bit better this side in particular for me I would be playing around with moving that out a bit and whatnot but for the purpose of this video it is perfect so because our traffic is right handed at the moment we're going to have our industry on our right side as you enter the city ideally you want your industry to be able to get where it needs to go the fastest so go out by another 10 and then what you're going to do is grab your two lane road and go down by 20 and then from the same spot go up by 20 this is going to be the start of our industry area and you can expand on that once you get a bit more demand so then what we're going to do is grab our four lane medium road again go out by 20 this time and then grab your two lane road and the midpoint of the road that you just created so 10 from your original point go down by 20 across by 20 sometimes you have to turn off the snapping for that to work go up by 40 and then cross by 20 and back down to your original point now all we're going to do is extend this road out to connect up there now to create the last part of our, this starter grid we're going to turn our road guidelines back on and grab the midpoint of this road alright so that's this here and all we're going to do is connect it across like that now some could argue that you could connect it like this but then you're creating more intersections on a main road than what's needed and you're going to in the long run actually have traffic issues because of that so having one road in to be able to then have multiple roads branching off it is probably your best bet now normally I would go for wind turbine for power but today I am going with coal coal can be expensive but it also generates a lot of power so then we'll put our water tower in a lot of people look at the water pump and go oh I need to put a water pump in oh that's how we get water you can also get water from a water tower it doesn't just store it and it doesn't need a road connection and it's very easy to put down so what we can do is put a water tower just at the entrance of our city it's going to cost us 4300 and it's going to generate 60,000 meters cubed of water per week which is a fair bit so we'll put that down um, and then all we need is our water drainage unfortunately it is a fair way away so I could run out of money here but that's okay I will uh, I will survive so what I'll do I do have everything down now but what I want to do is just start growing our city so I'm going to zone it in for residential uh, that should be enough and let them grow they will have issues at the start but that's fine um, they will start paying us taxes and all will be good we should start to get a bit of money or at least hit the first uh, milestone pretty quick uh, we may need to put some commercial and re industry down yeah so you look at the demand for that All right. almost there just about to hit our little hamlet we are in the deep for 1400 but once we hit Little Hamlet they will give us a 10,000 bonus Ooh, if we're going to get there right uh, we can't take a loan yet 
so one thing that you can do to reduce costs we're not even using this at the moment so we can get rid of it get rid of the taxes that we're paying on it oh we're so close sure we'll take the bailout there's nothing wrong with taking a bailout so we now have 50,000 minus whatever we owed at the time so it was 11 just over 10,000 now we've got enough to connect up our power across our zones making sure that we're giving power to our our water water tower and then also putting a putting a wind turbine down here it's not producing as much as what I'd like but that's fine um, we then don't have to run power down there all we have to do now is run some water pipes that, that try and do it as minimal as possible I only have to go to there to cover it and then connect up our water tower everything's connected and there we go we've just hit a little hamlet which will cover us for another 10,000 and what do you know there's the start of our city if you've got any comments questions please feel free to comment in on the video make sure you subscribe for any uh, new material and check out my uh, city that I've been doing on on YouTube it's called Showville um, make sure you hit that like button and the bell notification when you subscribe to see make sure you get notifica notified of the content until next time I'll see you later